Plan friends, we're doing a Raffi glow up today. YouTube show. One of my favorite plants, Raffi, my Raffidophora tetrasperma, is in dire need of a makeover for many reasons. <laughs> it's been a crazy kind of six months. We've moved a bunch of times. I have been trellising Raffi on this moss pole for a while, but he's gotten super unruly. Um, so, and also I noticed while we were gone on our wedding and honeymoon, he has a pretty aggressive scale infestation. So I'm kind of reading the tea leaves and taking the sign that it's time to give him a makeover in many different ways. So we're gonna, number one, remove him from the moss pole and kind of see what's going on, detach him and give him a new trellis, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna clean up the scale. Um, we're gonna <laughs> have a little doctor's appointment and, and clean up some of the pest issues. And then I'm gonna take a look in this pot. He's been in this pot for a while, so I kind of wanna take a look under the hood, see if he might need a soil refresh or even pot up. Um, so this is gonna be kind of like a multi-part series, probably many alpha changes shot on a couple of different days. Um, but I figured, Rafi, you're one of my favorite plants and you deserve to be happy and not like all <laughs> over the place, he's just growing out of control. I feel like it's hard to thrive when you're on the brink of um, falling over, always. So first step is to take him off of this moss pole and kind of get in there with some pest control treatment. Um, I need to see if I have alcohol. I'll probably make some sort of diluted mixture um, and then spray him down with some horticultural spray and just leave him out on the tarp for the weekend to kind of dry off. And then we'll get to the fun part, the glow up part. Okay, I just spent a full 20 minutes rubbing all of the scale off of Rafi. It was actually surprisingly fun. <laughs> it felt really gratifying. Um, now I'm leaving for the weekend, but I'm going to spray Rafi down with this Espoma Organic Insect Control Spray. Um, it says that it helps kill bugs on contact and scale is one of them. So I'm gonna spray this down and then leave it on this tarp to dry. It's in nice light. And then next week we will continue with the beautification. Okay, plant friends, part two. Before we dive back into the Raffi glow up, I have to show you a close up. I have matched my lipstick for today's filming to the gorgeous holiday cactus bloom that I'm having. Look at that perfect shade match. Anyway, I hope you take makeup and dressing inspo from your plants like I do. Next level, crazy plant lady. So last week I descaled, whoops, I descaled Raffi. I sprayed him down with that horticultural spray and I just kind of laid him out. I went on vacation or I went away for the weekend with Billy. Today is the makeover day. So I wanna do two things. I wanna check under the hood and I wanna see if he's pot bound <laughs> and figure out if I need to pot him up or not. I am just hoping he's not because I don't want to repot him right now. But regardless, I'm gonna give him a little bit of a soil refresh just because he's been in this pot for over a year. And I think sometimes people think that you always have to repot. Sometimes you don't have to repot, you don't have to pot up if they're not pot bound, but sometimes just giving a little soil refresh with some fresh nutrients is always nice. So I'm gonna do that and then, We've got to figure out how we are going to execute this glow up. I'm going to remove this moss pole um, when I repot him, and then we are going to put one of these really cool botanopia um, stakes, plant stakes that my friend Leslie sent me. So we've got a couple of different shapes that I want to look into, um, but we'll kind of try that on after we take a look under the hood. <sighs> Come on, Rafi. I don't have time, let's do this thing. I hope that you're happy and not so pot bound, okay? Okay, so we've got a little zoom in action here. Gonna knock him on his side. Okay. Oh, he came out real easy. I love the way this pot looks with the patina. I just think that's so beautiful. Um, and good sign, not pot bound at all. So you can see that he's got a bunch of nice, healthy roots. He's happy, um, but there's really no need to pot him up another side. So now we just have to gently tease the moss pole out of the pot. And be careful because obviously roots might be growing. And we're in pretty good shape. So what I think I'm just gonna do is some of this topsoil like has a little bit of salt buildup in it. 
I'm just gonna kind of shake out the old soil. And then I'm gonna make my Lazy Girl um, Espoma Aeroid Mix, which is part orchid bark, which has horticultural charcoal and all sorts, um, horticultural charcoal, orchid bark, um, perlite, a lot of like nice airy, airy stuff. And then also um, just the normal pot mix. So let's get that going. So you can see um, it's a really nice airy mix. There's all sorts of like pieces of horticultural charcoal in here. Um, and we're gonna repot this baby. So as I was repotting, <laughs> um, I've since, after I repotted, I've watered and let the soil settle a little bit. But as I tipped Rafi over, um, I fully snapped off his entire freaking <laughs> elongated um, elongated vine. However, I think this is actually a positive because as I talked about earlier, I grew Rafi in several different environments, the first being not as much light as the second. And so there is a clear delineation in this plant from when he has these thinner stems, which no longer have leaves on them, to then these really juicy thick stems. So what I think I'm going to do is take this as an opportunity. I'm going to cut these off. I might throw these all in moss to see if I can prop them, remove the bottom leaves of these two new stems and plant them in this pot. Then, depending on what that looks like, I think I will then either trellis or not trellis yet and just kind of let him fill in um, and make sure that I stick him in some good light so, um, and give him some TLC so those uh, cuttings can kind of establish. So that's what you get when you rush, Maria. Um, but I actually think this is gonna turn out great and is totally um, a positive. Okay, another day, another outfit matching my lip, but today I'm matching my sweater, not my plant. So, plant friends, I needed to take a break yesterday because I got overwhelmed because I broke my plant. But <laughs> I'm going to finish this video because here's the thing, sometimes you set out with a project and things change and you just gotta ebb and flow, like with our gardens, whose gardens actually look the way that they planned that they're gonna look in January when they actually plant and harvest. So, um, here's my new plan. I thought about it. I also referenced a great um, plant propagation book, Plant Parenting by Leslie Halleck. Um, and I just thought about how I'm going to change my idea because I initially was planning on using this beautiful circular stand and trailing the very long vine that I had around it. Obviously that's not gonna work anymore because what I ended up doing was taking the vine and breaking it into four larger, propagations. Um, I made sure that I'm only leaving a few leaves on each one and then leaving a bunch of ample nodes because I want these things to like root. And I think ultimately I'm going to have a much lusher, juicier plant. So because the existing pot has one long um, train already, what I'm thinking is I kind of consulted all of my options of all of the different trellises, I think this trellis is gonna be really cute. So if I stick this trellis in the pot, I put this one kind of wacky like uh, alongside it, and then I'm going to plant, I'm gonna put rooting hormone on these cuttings that I took and then plant directly into the soil. And I'm gonna kind of, as I plant, style up this wackadoo shape and then as the plant grows i will just keep kind of trellising it and i think it'll actually look really cool so i think in terms of like the raffy glow up that i was hoping for i don't know if it's gonna like look as amazing as i was hoping to have this like stunning kind of circular green thing immediately i also think that i'm going to be able to just kind of enjoy molding the shape as raffy grows um, in this really fun and interesting shape so that's my new plan. I have some floral tape. I also have floral wire that I've had like for a hundred years. So as I trellis, I'm gonna kind of play around with the tape versus wire. We'll see how it goes and I will report back after everything is kind of potted up and trellised. So wish me luck. Okay, plant friends, sorry this lighting is like a little kooky. It has since started snowing and the sun completely evaporated 
over the course of the 20 minutes that I was styling this. But anyway, we've got Rafi behind our nice black fireplace. So I think the contrast, you can kind of see what's going on. Anyway, so, okay, this the styling process was a little harder than <laughs> I thought. I, I styled him with the floral tape. The floral tape kept opening up. It's very old. Restyled him and then did it one more time. But it was interesting. I really wanted to try and like follow the curves and some of these cuttings are like perfectly curvy, which is so fun. So it's interesting. If you look at the before video and the after, I think the before video, like Rafi, he was so tall on the mass pole and he was so lush up at the top. He kind of looked larger and more jungly, but I actually think in the long run, this is gonna set him up to be like a much lusher, wider, juicier plant because he was like nothing on the bottom because all of those spindly stems had no leaves and he was everything on top. And also like literally every time I watered him would almost get knocked over. So I'm really excited to follow the growth of this plant, especially now that he is scale free and I'm just gonna keep training him. I mean, I'm very curious to see if I can actually train him along this trellis and if not, I'll probably like train him around it and the trellis will kind of be this beautiful bronze like feature. Um, but like if you look at the bottom of his pot, he's already so lush on the bottom, which he was not uh, last time. So I think this is a great lesson to ebb and flow <laughs> and grow with our plants. Sometimes you have like these big crazy planty visions. I had this very specific vision for what I wanted. It didn't work out. I'm cool with it. What are you gonna do? Shout out to Espoma for their soil. Um, and I love mixing and matching all of their mixes. Another great side effect of this is I've taken a bunch of cuttings. I took a few a few weeks ago and I took extra cuttings. So there's a plant swap section in the Garden Party app that I have, the Bloom and Grow Garden Party. There's a dedicated plant swap section. So I'm gonna root all of these cuttings. I have like eight more over there um, and put them up for grabs in the plant swap section, which will be really fun that I'll, I will spread Rafi across our community. And also um, those spindly thinner stems that are all nodes. I think I'm going to go back to the YouTube video I shot with Peyton from Plant Daddy and watch his tutorial that he did with me on how to take node propagations, like nodes, and root those as well. So this is this project is instigating a bunch more projects. So if you wanna follow along and watch Rafi grow, uh, follow me on Instagram at Bloom and Grow Radio. I'll maybe make an update on how he's growing like in six months, we'll see. Also, um, this trellis was a gift for me, a gift from Leslie Halleck to me. Um, from Botanopia is the name of the company and I'll, I'll leave their link below. Um, thank you very much, Leslie, for gifting it to me. And also you should check out her book, Plant Parenting, if you're interested in propagating because before I propagated and planted into the soil, I referenced her book to make sure I was doing the stem tip, the stem tip cutting and rooting hormone correctly. Okay, what a fun project. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, sweet plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing. Do 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 do